guys, Paul from Warrior Tactical Systems here. In this video, we're going to talk about knife grip, whether you should carry tip up or tip down. Okay, so, you know, there's controversy on this, and some, uh, a lot of you have probably heard the myth, especially the, uh, my friends in law enforcement. If the guy carries a knife this way, uh, he's an amateur, doesn't know what he's doing. But if he carries it this way, he's an expert, and you better run. All right, well, to me, that's ridiculous. If you put a, a, <laughs> a sharp toothpick in the hands of Dan Anasano or or Leo Gai or someone like that, you're in trouble, okay? Uh, the, the grip does not matter. The, the expert is the person using the tool. Um, and, you know, there are many systems that use different grips based on how their system is designed. So <clears throat> that whole concept is ridiculous. In, in my view, you should learn to use both. Um, I generally prefer a tip-up grip. And, you know, some of my reasons for that is one it gives you a little bit more distance it's not a lot of difference but it's slightly different and uh, it, it feels a lot easier for me to to thrust and reach with the weapon this way I also feel like I have more dexterity this way and it translates into the techniques I already use with the stick so you know th those same movements translate right in um, one of the disadvantages of this grip it could be a disadvantage if you use it improperly is you could come with a wider slashes it's easy to do that with this type of grip if you're not trained but that's more of a training issue than anything else so the grip down is also a very good grip and, and I recommend you spend time with it and, and get good at it as well um, the slashes tend to stay tighter for me to slash it's it's harder to come out with this wide type of slash it makes me bring it in tight uh, which makes it harder for uh, a person to get in on that slash, uh, which is definitely a good thing. The other nice thing about this is it, I have a hooking motion here that I can use pretty easily. I can hook arms, I can hook behind legs, um, I can insert the blade and use it as a handle very easily from this grip. Uh, you have some, some good options here. The other nice thing is the angle is different, which is, can be a disadvantage. It's slightly different than your stick angles you know, than uh, with this grip, but it's very similar to your elbows and it develops a little bit different attributes that can come in handy when you're doing your uh, elbow destructions and elbow work. Um, it's also nice for improvised weapons. If I happen to pick up something pointy like a pen, this is a good grip to go with. I can put my thumb over the end of it and keep it from riding up on me and I can do a lot of good work with, you know, an improvised weapon that just happens to be pointy. Uh, as opposed to, to this grip, depending on what the object is, obviously. It's also nice sometimes for a concealed type of grip. I could be palming this and have it hidden and pull it out very quickly, so there's a time and a place for that. Um, the, main, the main thing is, is learn them all. Why would you limit yourself to one or the other? And never think somebody doesn't know what they're doing because of the way they're holding it. Uh, you know, a system like this with the knife, the blade back toward my arm, uh, you know, I always thought of this as a close quarters system. Somebody's really crashing in and hooking, and, and that's one of the ways my instructor, John Davis, uses it very uh, well, I might add, uh, with this type of hooking motion. But this can also be used at long range. Uh, Ray Floro has a really good system that uses this grip, and, you know, again, when I first saw it, I thought, well, that's close quarters. Now he'll tag you from way out there. So, you know, keep an open mind and learn them all, because you might have to pick it up. Uh, off the ground in a certain way. You may have to draw it from your pocket with your off hand or in a different manner than you're used to. So it's fine to pick a, a main way you carry and work with that, but always work in the other angles and get a feel for them and their strengths and weaknesses. So you know you you pick up anything sharp and pointy and you can make it work. Okay if you enjoyed that video uh, please click like below and subscribe to our channel and let me know what you prefer. Do you prefer tip up, tip down, uh, and why? You know, what, what works for you? All right.